Hey everybody, Jorge Peruzzi, developer advocate here. So um, this is a tutorial series to help you get ready and set up with the Watson APIs. So if you don't have an IBM Cloud account, um, please stop watching this video and watch my previous video, which will be in the links below. So uh, first you need to have an IBM Cloud account, and secondly, you'll need to have a Watson language translator. You need to have a created a service and also you have to have those credentials ready. Um, also you also ha you have to have npm installed so that'll get you up and running with Node.js. Um, so all those links are down in the description. If you have all those ready and set up, you're ready to get started. So in this video, I'll, I'll go over a little bit of documentation on the uh, language translator service and then I'll just dive into the coding and get you started with your first API call. So let's get into the documentation. So we're about to go to the um, API documentation. So um, this is kind of your one-stop shop for all the different APIs. So for right now, we're gonna go to language translation. So right here, and we can check the API reference. So this is, um, so you see there's curl, node, Java, and Python. We're going to focus on Node in this tutorial. So this will kind of give you the basic idea of the API call you need to make. So um, the, the three parameters that we're going to work with is source language, which is the first language that we start with, in our case, English. Um, the second parameter for our call will be target language. That will be Spanish. So we're going to go from English to Spanish. And the text that we're going to give it is hello, just a really simple hello world example. So these are the three parameters that we're going to work with when are in our API call, and that's pretty much it. Um, let's get right into the coding. Okay, so hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Let's get to the coding. So first, I'm just going to copy and paste a few lines. The first one being an npm module that we will we will import, and that's going to be the request module, which will help us make our post HTTP request. Next, we have the username and password of our service. That's going to be the language translation service. Lastly, we have the URL that we need to hit. So first things first, we need to make an empty data object. So this is where we're going to store the three parameters that we talked about earlier. So data.source is equal to English. Um, data.target is equal to Spanish and data.text is equal to hello. Okay, next we want to make our post request and in here we want to pass in the URL. Next we want to pass in the data. Next, or lastly, we want to pass in the authentication. So username is username and password is going to be oops, this is just the translation password. Okay. After that, um, we just want to close this up and write a callback function. And uh, okay. And then basically we'll just have um, an error response body in there and we just want to console log the body. Simple enough. Let's try it out. So now let's do node translate.js. Cool, we see hola. Perfect. And now let's try something else like goodbye my friend. And okay, we have adios mi amigo. And we can try the French. And let's try it now. Adio mon ami. Okay, perfect. So we got some different languages here, and hopefully you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Take care.